Let's look for the equations of some parallel and some perpendicular lines. In this first example, I want to find the equation of the parallel line, the parallel line to y equals negative 3 fourths x that goes through the point 4 comma 1. So I can graph this really quickly. So it goes through 4, 1. So if I go ahead and plot that point, 4, 1 is going to be about right here. And to be parallel, it has to have the same exact slope. That's supposed to have the same slope. I also know that I I want slope intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. The line that we were given, which is the one that I've drawn here in blue, I already had the slope for. So the slope of that parallel line is the number right in front of the x, which is our negative 3 fourths. So we're going to have a two-step process for these. Step number one is to find the slope, and then step number two is to use the point and get to our equation. So I want to find the slope first, but parallel lines make it so easy. The slope that I'm looking for is the same exact slope as my parallel line. So the slope that I'm looking for is my negative three-fourths. They're the same. So I've got my slope. Step number two, I'm going to use point slope to find that equation of the line, but you could also use slope intercept form. So I'm going to use the point slope equation. So the point slope equation is this guy. So it's going to be y minus y1 is equal to m times parentheses x minus x1. We're going to use the point that we were given. The point that we were given was 4, 1. So 4, 1 is our x1, y1. So 4 is going to go in here. 1 is going to go in for y1. And my slope is going to go in right here. So what do we have? We've got y minus the y from my point, which is 1 is equal to my slope. I just grabbed the same one from that parallel line. X minus the X coordinate on my line is four. Next, we're gonna multiply that negative three fourths through. So no change over here on the left. So Y minus one is equal to negative three fourths X. And then negative three fourths times negative four, that's gonna be a positive. And then I've got three fourths times four. Just a little bit of simplifying is left to do, and I'm gonna have that equation. I can cancel my fours here, and I get a three, but I really want my goal, which was slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So I need that y all by itself. Let's add that one to both sides. And I end up with y is equal to negative 3 fourths x. I had that 3, so plus 3, plus 1. And you might be a step ahead of me at the final equation. y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 4. Let's do another one. In this next one, we need our line to go through 4, negative 4 and be parallel to y equals 3. So I'm going to go through my two-step process. The very first thing that I need is my slope. Well, as I'm looking at this y equals 3, I want to rethink this as slope-intercept form. Well, I've got 0x's, so I can think of it as 0x plus Three. This tells me what my parallel slope is, m parallel. So my parallel slope is equal to zero. Slope for parallel lines is so easy. My slope is the same as my parallel slope. So the m, the slope that I'm looking for, is equal to zero. So now I'm ready for step number two. I'm going to use my point slope formula. So point slope formula and I'm going to plug in my point and my slope. So here comes my formula. y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Well, my point is 4, negative 4. So 4 is going to replace the x. Negative 4 is going to replace the y, and the slope is 0, so 0 is going to replace m. So we end up with y minus 4 is equal to 0. Everything else on the side is just going to go away because it's all 0, right? So this goes away, 0 times everybody. I get y minus 4 equals 0. Let's add a 4 to both sides, and we end up with our parallel lines equation, which is y equals 4. 
Now we've got a perpendicular line. I still want to find y equals mx plus b. That is my goal, but I want to find it for the line that's perpendicular to this line that I'm given, and it's going to go through that point. Now perpendicular is a lot to write, so sometimes you'll see perpendicular represented as this, kind of an upside down t and you'll see parallel represented as this. I want to find a perpendicular line, so let me get rid of that. But the first thing that I need is slope. So step number one is my slope. Now to be perpendicular, my perpendicular lines need to have, so if I were to draw two perpendicular lines here, they're going to cross at a square angle. That's not very good. To have two perpendicular lines, they need to cross at a square angle. That's supposed to be a 90 degree angle there. So what we notice is that one is positive, one has a negative slope, so our slopes turn out to be completely opposite. So I can say that the slope here, m, is equal to negative one over m sub, and I'll just put the little perpendicular symbol there. So I really want everything opposite, opposite sign, and I'm going to take the reciprocal of whatever fraction I've got. You'll see how easy this is to do in just a second. So that means that I need the slope of this guy, right? But this guy is given to me in standard form. I need to do some math on this one to get it into um, slope intercept form. So I've got 8y plus 3x is equal to negative 16. I am looking for m here. I need to move the x to the other side, minus 3x. So I have 8y is equal to negative 3x minus 16. I'm really close now to my slope intercept form. Let's divide everybody by 8. What I'm really looking for though, I don't even need the whole equation. I just need this next number, and that's the number in front of the x negative 3 eighths x minus 2. So I really just needed that perpendicular slope. Once I've got that perpendicular slope, I can go ahead and find the slope that I was looking for. So if my slope is equal to, so m perpendicular is equal to negative 3 eighths, this means that the slope that I'm looking for has the opposite sign, so it's going to be positive, and I'm going to take the reciprocal of my fraction. I'm going to flip that fraction, so it is 8 thirds. Now, I could do the 1 over negative 3 eighths. You can just trust me that that works out, but I think it's so much easier to find the slope change the sign, take the reciprocal of the fraction. Next, I want to find the equation. So I'm going to plug my point in and find that equation. Let me give myself a little more room here. I've got my slope, step number two. So for step number two, I'm going to use point slope, which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. We've got our m. And the point that we were going through was negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. That makes it easy. I need to replace everybody with a negative 3, the x1 and the y1. Okay, so what do we get? We get y minus negative 3, which you could write as plus, is equal to 8 thirds x minus, again, another negative 3. You could write that as plus. So I get y plus 3 is equal to, I'm going to write that inside the parentheses first as an x plus 3. You might be a little bit ahead of me and that's okay. And now let's distribute this 8 thirds through. So I get y plus 3 is equal to 8 thirds x and then I'm going to multiply it by the 3 as well. So plus 8 thirds times 3. That 3 is up there in a numerator, so cancel those 3s. I get just the 8 over here, and I need the y by itself, so let's subtract that 3. I get y is equal to 8 
thirds x. I had the plus 8 and the minus 3, and I end up with plus 5. And this is the equation of our perpendicular line. I've got one more example for you. So in this one, I'm going to go through the point 2, 4, and my symbol here means perpendicular to 3x minus y equals 5. My goal is still slope-intercept form, so I want to end up with the equation of this line, mx plus b. Step number one, we got to find that slope. So step number one is the slope, but I'm given my line here in standard form. So I want to go ahead and work with this. So I've got 3x minus y is equal to 5. I need y all by itself. So I'm going to subtract a 3x. I get negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 5, and I'm going to divide everybody by negative 1, or you could go ahead and just change all of the signs. y is equal to 3x now, 5 over negative 1 is minus 5. The only thing I care about though is my slope here. So I can go ahead and pull out now my perpendicular slope. That perpendicular slope is equal to 3, and I know that the slope that I'm looking for has everything opposite. I'm going to change the sign and I'm going to take the reciprocal. So let's think of this as a 3 over 1. That means that the slope that I need is equal to negative and I'm going to switch the fraction, take its reciprocal, and I get negative 1 third. Okay, so I've got my slope. Step number two is point slope formula. So step number two, y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. I already have m to put into my equation, so m is going to go right there, then negative one third, and my point is 2 comma 4. So 2 is going to replace the x1, and 4 is going to replace the y1. So now what do I have? I've got y minus 4 is equal to negative one third x minus 2, we need to multiply that negative one-third through, and we're going to get, I'm just going to rewrite the y minus 4 is equal to negative one-third x, negative times negative 2, that's going to be plus one-third times 2. While we're at it, let's add that 4 to both sides. So I get y is equal to, so close to our answer here, negative one-third x, this one-third times two is plus two-thirds plus four. Let's go ahead and take our uh, addition here and do some common denominators. So two-thirds plus four. My common denominator is a three over three. That's going to be two-thirds plus four times three is twelve-thirds, which is going to give me fourteen-thirds. You could, of course, rewrite that as a mixed numeral but I'm going to leave it, and I get negative one-third x um, plus my 14 thirds. You guys are doing great. Take a look at my next video here. Thanks so much for watching.